We'll be keeping tabs on that as we move along. Right now, we've got 138 pounds. Glenn Lanham from Lindenhurst High School, Section 11. He's 31 and one this year, 80 and 10. He's a freestyle champ, 1981, the state, and junior national, and Greco-Roman also. And we've got from Calhoun High School in Section 8, Dean Zucker, 20 and 0 this year, 72 and 9. Zuckera, I should say, excuse me on that pronunciation. Zuckera from Section 8 in the green. And Glenn Lanham from Lindenhurst. Did we get the two Long Island teams going at it head to head? Section 11, both of them are seniors. Zucker and Lanham. Zucker tries to get that hip throw in there to go out of bounds before any damage can be done. I really think, we have, as we have seen, a lot of, almost every match has had at least one attempt at an upper body throw. Some yep. of them had a, a lot more than that. But uh, that seems to be the style, that freestyle, uh, Greco-Roman type of throwing. Well, we'll see when we get up, even the, the, the upper weights uh, from 55 on up, you, you see a lot of that. Not that you don't down here, but it just seems that I've seen, notice more of that in this tournament in those upper weights, 55, 67, 77. Uh, it really looks like Throw City. And uh, as you said, you can give up a very quick four or five points. You can also give up the match because that's a, that's a good way to get flat back. It certainly is. And these wrestlers, as we've seen, not many of them have gotten points out of uh, the throws because they don't panic. And generally what happens is a wrestler, when he gets thrown, will panic and tries to resist it instead of going with it. And the best counter for most throws is to go with the throw. A after you've gotten caught, you certainly don't want to get caught in the first place with throw. Well, right now we've got Zucker and Lanham. Lanham in the blue from section 11. And Zucker in the green from section eight. And we've got no score, 30 seconds left in the first period. 30 seconds. Both men look very, very, uh, should we say even, the same kind of style, I think. Uh, both pretty good on their feet. They've been a good job avoiding each other in terms of giving up takedowns. But they've been very aggressive. One thing I've noticed about all the matches so far, almost all of them have been very, very close. And, that, and that's really the way it is. I mean, when you get down to this type of, this number, like we, we talked about before, 9,000 wrestlers to 28, these are the 28 best. And uh, we probably won't see a lot of pins. Uh, you don't even see a lot of pins in the sectionals, although in section three, we know it, uh, it kind of started and boy, we got a number of them after 145. So once you get up to this level, you'll probably see very, very few pins tonight. Right now, this match going to go into the second period. Tied, nothing, nothing. Zukra from section eight in the green. Lanham, section 11 in the blue. Zukra this year undefeated. Uh, 20 and all, and Lanham, not undefeated, but got 31 and one record. So he's not too shabby. Incidentally, we might mention, we said Lamb's a freestyle champ and uh, Greco-Roman in the uh, Empire State Games wrestler. And uh, you, you get a lot of different kinds of styles. And I think it, it's interesting. You, you see the wrestlers kind of employ the different techniques from, from each style of wrestling. The thing is, is that Greco-Roman has certain rules that you must follow. You can't use anything but upper body strength and on throws and things like that. Freestyle is almost all takedowns, and that's the uh, style of it. Uh, collegiate or high school rules, it's more pinning, I, I believe. I, I really think high school rules are the most exciting. They're getting more and more towards freestyle type of rules, which is, I think, uh, a disadvantage. I think it's obviously happening because of the influence of the Olympics and uh, the international style. If you're going to have international competition, then uh, you've got to wrestle the way the international rules are set up. So we see a lot of different kinds of styles incorporated. Right now, we've got a one-point lead for Lanham. And he goes now for that. We get upper body. And you see right there the influence of that Greco. He's a little taller. He seems to be trying to use his leverage against Height, you know, once used to be, they used to say wrestling was a sport where anybody could wrestle, didn't make any difference how tall you were, and of course, that's still true, but when you get into this kind of competition, you've got somebody who's got a distinct height advantage, and right there, Zucra tried to 
get a little fancy, slipped, trying to duck, oh, under, and duck under and get the leg, and he gave up a quick two. That's going to make it 3-0 in favor of Glenn Lanham from Lindenhurst High School. Thirty seconds left 30 seconds. in the second period. Lanham trying to work for the pin. The, the thing that amazes me is we look at these wrestlers. These guys only weigh 138 pounds. I know, and it's amazing. They look huge. The musculature on both men is uh, something. As we talked about, we're going to get a warning now. Lanham's going to be warned. Oh, he quickly rolls through. He puts Zucra. He's going to get a count. He's not going to get five. Excuse me, he's not going to get three. He gets two right there for a near fall. He doesn't get the five count. If he gets the five count, of course, it would have been a three-point near fall. He only got the three. He picks up a two-point near fall. Gives five, nothing lead now for Glenn Lanham. Lanham and Zucker. As we watch Zucker being worked on by Lanham, Lanham got a good job splitting those legs and then trying to stack him up. Doesn't get any points. As mentioned before, he's not controlling the hands, but he is controlling, controlling the legs. Controlling the legs. You got to control one or the other, and it's nice if you can do both. We hear in the background they're talking about most outstanding wrestler. And of course, this tournament's not over yet, but of course, one of the people we've already seen, Al Palacio, has got to be certainly a big candidate as he's won the states for the third year in a row. It's difficult to decide outstanding wrestler. You have to remember that they're going on this tournament all the way through, who he had to beat to get there, what he was doing, and... Uh, Very it, possibly then if you had, let's say, a, a rather weak weight class, I, I hate to say weak because it, that's kind of a misnomer, but let's say your class was not as strong as somebody else's, they might take that into consideration? That's correct, and it, it could mean, you know, doesn't mean what you did last year, I don't believe uh, Danny Hunt won the most outstanding award ever uh, in his three years of being a state champ. It, it's it's a sort decision a by the sectional favorite. champion, and it's difficult too because you know, you've got to watch all the wrestlers all the time, and you've got to make a decision out of that throughout the whole tournament. It's the most outstanding wrestler of the tournament, not the most outstanding wrestler of the finals. So that's a difficult choice to make. It certainly is, and right now Lanham is having no real time. difficulty with. Zucra, as he's got a 5-1 lead with about 40 seconds left. Zucra on the bottom in the green from Section 8. And if he loses here, that could really help to I KO think, their chances. I really think that that's going to almost put him out of the, uh, the running here. So Zucra now down by 5-1. 15 seconds. 138 pounds. 10 seconds. And we run down to 10 seconds. Five seconds. And we see the light flashing and land him in a kind of a not so exciting match, but it's exciting to him because he's the New York State champ, section 11, and that sort of KOs, as my man Doug Hartman said, is going to put the hurt on section 8. While we've got a second, we've got Ronnie LaBeef here, the champion 